All right, guys, super excited to show you this today. We're going to learn how Genius Scheduler works, okay? So this is going to show you how to profit from engaging content on Facebook. That can be posts on your profile or Facebook groups. We all know organic marketing is a great tier in your marketing strategy. So we're going to implement some of these things right now. So what you're going to learn today is secret number one, how to model hyper-engaging Facebook posts with one click, adding them to your content library, how to batch schedule content to groups and your personal profile, and how to analyze your posts by type and track the stats over time. So you'll know which posts are most engaging. So with Genius Scheduler, what you're gonna be able to do is connect your profile, any groups that you own, and also any groups that you're a member of. You don't even have to own the group. Once that's connected, you'll be able to schedule posts to those destinations. You'll be able to create tags, different post types, and then schedule those posts on your calendar. You can also save posts that you find when you're scrolling on Facebook to a content library to reuse those posts in the future, and you can track those stats for those posts to see how they perform. So here's the roadmap for Genius Scheduler. Almost all of these are done, and we'll be building out additional stuff to this tool as well. But right now, what we wanted was to be able to connect your profile and various Facebook groups, schedule posts in advance, categorize posts by type, as well as adding tags, and you can filter by post type or tag type. You can add posts to a content library for future reference and building up a database of value posts that you can add to your profile and different groups. You can scan those posts for engagement levels to see those metrics. You'll have a calendar overview where you can see the entire month laid out with all the posts you have posted and those you have scheduled to post. And in the future, we wanna add some more charts and graphs so you can easily review those analytics. So I'm excited to get this out to you guys. We will have monthly, annual, and lifetime access plans. So feel free to check out which option works best for you. You can visit tryjohnson.com slash genius scheduler for more information. And if you're interested, go ahead and sign up today to lock in all future updates at no additional charge. So if you sign up for the monthly plan and we add additional features, you're locked in at that plan. If you get lifetime access, all future updates and upgrades are included for free. So what I want to do now is actually jump into a demo of this tool. So let's go to Facebook. This is my personal profile page right here. This is a post that I scheduled with Genius Scheduler. You can see I added some emojis and also changed the font here to bold. So you can do some pretty cool stuff. You can add images as well. So once you install Genius Scheduler, it's going to live up here in your Chrome browser. You can see the post that I scheduled right here. If I click that, it shows you the preview of my post and the time that I wanted to post it right here. And there's a link to the post. If I click this, it'll take me right to the post. You can see I added the tags Grammy Whammy and also engagement post to this post. So for post types, all these are set by default and you can change those or add additional ones if you want. And tags, you will need to add those yourself. So those will be kind of personalized for your use case. If you have multiple things you're going to be promoting or product lines, stuff like that, that's kind of what the tags are for. So if we click on post types, you can see these are all the default ones. We've got engagement posts, value posts, connection posts, lead generation, offer, soft sell, ask, and encouragement. So you can add additional post types if you'd like. You can change the colors on any of these by clicking this little art brush next to those. You can delete them. You can edit the, the title. But we wanted to preload some there for you guys, um, basically, so you could just start out with those templates. Tags, this will be empty when you load this up. But like I said, you can add your own. You may only need a couple, um, depending on what you're going to use them for. I kind of categorize mine by product line and what I will be promoting in that actual post. The content library, this is a powerful feature right here. So you can save posts that you find on Facebook to a content library. And again, these go by post type. So if you want to add additional post types or change some of these around, you can do that. But if you click in here, it shows you a link to the post that you saved and you can scan it for engagement and it will give you the number of reactions, comments, and shares for that post. So say I wanted to 
share this post or add it to my content library. I just click these three little dots and hit Genius Scheduler Save Post. I select the post type and I'll put Ask Post and I'm going to put Granny Lammy for this and hit Save. And now that's added to my content library. So if I go into Ask Posts, right there is the link. And if I want to update the engagement, I can just click Scan and it will be queued up. And then that's, those stats will show here at the bottom, just like my other posts. So here's all the posts that you've scheduled in the past. So you have a, a log of all the posts you've made, which you can quickly jump to those posts as well. You can clone them if you want to use them again in the future. Here's your calendar view. So anytime you want to see the calendar, you can click here. In settings, this is where you'll connect your destinations. So if you go to Facebook link settings, you can add your personal profile as a destination, a Facebook group. This can be one that you own, or it can be a group that you're a member of. So you can post in groups that you're not the admin or moderator. Um, it will have to go through their filter if they do have moderators and stuff like that. But you can schedule posts to other groups, which is super powerful too. So to actually create a post, click the mailbox here where your post log lives and hit schedule post. It's going to pop up this window here and you can start from a new post. That's the default, or you can choose from one in your content library. So that shows all your saved posts with the stats there. So any post that you save, you can start from that one. And basically you can make changes if you want to say, make this font bold and italicize this you can do that you can also choose files right here to upload an image here's all your emojis if you want to use emojis then you'll select your tags so tag could be grammy whammy post could be engagement post you'll select where to post so you have to add those destinations and you can select multiple destinations too if you want and then you'll select the date and time so i always do this last so i can schedule this for the 14th at 7.50 a.m. Then I would click Add, and that post has now been scheduled. So if I go back to my calendar, it's going to show up right here, and I can preview that. If I want, I can delete it to remove it from my schedule. So once you're on your calendar and you have bulk scheduled all your content, if you want to filter this down, you can filter it by post type. So I only have one engagement post showing. I have no value posts, no asks, one encouragement post, right? Or you can filter it by tag. So if I want to know which projects I'm scheduled for. And you can do that in combination. So if I want to see which post types for Grammy Whammy, I can filter again. And it's only going to show me the post types that I have available. So this is a super powerful tool. It's going to allow you to bulk schedule your content across your personal profile, which hasn't been done before, as well as Facebook groups. And then you get this dashboard to see the whole thing. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys to get some insight into what you'll be able to do with this tool. I plan to fill out this calendar with content and uh, I know this is gonna be a powerful tool to use. So feel free to jump in. We're currently in beta. But the tool's working great. Um, there are a couple bugs we're going to be working on, but all that stuff will be taken care of. We got a full-time development team behind this project, and we're going to add some cool features. We want to add some charts and graphs for your engagement stats and stuff like that as well. So go ahead and jump in. Pick the plan that you want to use, monthly, annual, or one-time fee, and I'll see you in the membership area.